Hey there, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I'm so excited that you're here with me today. I cannot wait for you to see this video. This video is weird. <laughs> There's no way around saying that. It's very different because it's kind of just a compilation of a bunch of stuff that's gone on in the last week. There is some stamping thrown in and technically this is a color splash because I'm gonna give you a color splash uh, combo to use, but it is a super fun video with just lots of random stuff, kind of showing you a little bit about my life, my stamping business and some other things. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you uh, find something useful out of it, maybe a tip or maybe you like one of the things that I'm creating today and you'll be able to make one for yourself. So uh, let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, so some more behind the scenes. I just want to show you how far we've made it on our prepping for stamp camp. We're almost done and these are some cute gifts that are going to be going in the mail for my stamp campers. So I thought I would show you my process. I've already stamped all of these. So let's go over here so I can show you what I used to do this. I used doo -doo -doo, the Circle Celebration stamp set and I just chose a few of these images, put them on my Stamparatus tool and then stamped in Highland Heather on purple posy cardstock, which is like going away and it matches my nails. Isn't that fun? So um, anyway, I just took three or four of these. How many did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. <laughs> I arranged them and then I just was able to slide this into my stamping tool, my Stamparatus, and stamp over and over. So I stamped a huge stack of these. We've got bumblebee daisies, half inch circle punches for the center of the daisies. And then I've already stamped the You Are Lovely sentiment on these uh, frame dies. And I use this stamp set to stamp You Are Lovely. And then I'm using Clever Clasps for the top. And what's fun about this is they'll actually use these for a project in the stamp camp. So that's kind of fun. So they'll get a little note letting them know that they need to um, keep this clasp to use for one of their projects. So I thought I would have you hang out with me for a minute here. Oops. While I put a couple of these together. And the color combination that I'm going to encourage you to use is the Highland Heather Purple Posy Bumblebee and White. So it's a really fun color combo. All right, so I have my pre-stamped tag and then I'm just using dimensionals to add my little label here. And then they're gonna get one daisy on the tag. And we use a mini dimensional for that. And then another mini dimensional on the back. Uh-oh, my fingernail, my polish is starting to chip. I've had them painted like this for quite a while, so it's starting to chip off. And that's it. How super simple is that? And then I take one of the Stampin' Up! 6x8 cello bags and I'm opening it up. And all the products you see me using here are linked in the description below the video. But I will tell you the Purple Posy cardstock may or may not be in stock. I cannot promise it. So a couple of little eggs chocolate eggs because everybody needs a little bit of chocolate when they're crafting. We're just going to fold this over, take this tag, and put the clasp on the top. My fingers are having a hard time working. There we go. And it's done. It's not cute. Let's make another one. And I'm going to chit chat with you guys while we make a couple. So, um, 
one of the things that uh, I've been doing over the last, like I said, week or so is I've been just kind of filming some random pieces and parts of my life that I thought you guys might find entertaining. Um, one of them being that my husband and my daughter uh, came and worked with me a few nights ago and I got just a little bit of footage of them and I'm going to share that with you. My husband really does not like being on camera, uh, nor does my daughter, but they were, they let me film them for just a minute and they came and helped me in my office because I'm prepping for this stamp camp and there's so much that has to be done um, in order for us to get it all shipped out. So my goal uh, is to get everything shipped by Friday, March 26th, uh, not just my stamp camp, but my club also. Well, to make that happen, I have to pull some extra hours. And the reason I want to make that happen is because my daughter goes on spring break that following week. And I thought that it would be really nice if I could take some time off to enjoy spring break with her. And I know the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I have everything shipped so that I know that my customers are taken care of. So some of you are going to ask, can we sign up for the stamp camp? No, unfortunately, it's closed at this time. However, I will be doing stamp camps in the future and I have a monthly card club slash class you can take. And in order to get information on that, um, there is a link below, which now if you sign up now, you'll be signing up for April's. But um there we go. Um, let me think. What am I trying to tell you here? <laughs> so if you want to sign up for it, there's a link below the video. You can get a subscription to it and it comes in the mail every month. It's $38 and it gets mailed out at the end of the month. So my point is I need to mail my stamp camp and my club at the end of this week in order to be able to have some time off with my kiddo. Okay, let's talk Easter plans now. So I'm hosting Easter at my house this year. Um, my mother-in-law sometimes hosts it, sometimes I host it, um, but she's going to be going to uh, somebody's house. I don't want to really say too much because they're pretty private people. So basically, she's not going to be around the whole day of Easter. So because of that, um, I decided I would host Easter and she could just come and enjoy and leave when she needed to leave because she's going to go out of town. So I am doing a ham. I want to know what your guys' Easter traditions are. I'm doing a ham and um, I'm making some beans that my family, it's like an old family recipe. We call them Marilou beans. Um, and then my mom is making noodles that's a family recipe called Aunt Jen's noodles. So she's making those. So we're having lots of traditional items for Easter. And then I think my sister-in-law is going to do deviled eggs and stuff like that. And of course, we'll have an Easter egg hunt. Although the kids are getting pretty big now. We only have one little one, uh, my sister's littlest. But I don't know if my sister is coming. I think she might be going to a friend's for Easter. So if she does that, then, um, then we won't be seeing her or her littles. So anyway, uh, that's our Easter plans. I'd love to know yours. And I would love to know what your favorite like traditional food is. I also really love green bean casserole. I know some of you will know exactly what this is. Um, <laughs> it's literally canned green beans, which I never eat can canned green beans actually. But you have to have canned green beans for this recipe. Uh, cream of mushroom soup, canned green beans, and... I think there's maybe some milk or sour cream mixed in and you bake it and you put the crunchy French onion, crunchy fried French onions on top and bake it a little more. And I love that. It is like one of my favorite things. I never have it except for 
like Easter or whatever. But it's a family tradition type recipe. So anyway, I enjoy it. So if you, so then another thing I thought I would ask is would you guys be interested in seeing some of my Easter footage? Like, should I video and show you what I'm making and show you some of the Easter stuff? You know, I try to be careful because really my channel is all mostly crafting, but I really love doing some video of other stuff too, like, you know, recipes and um, just kind of like our lives and what's going on. I think it's really fun to document some of that stuff and to share it with you. Um, so comment below and let me know if you like that or if you're like, no, just stick to crafting. You won't hurt my feelings, whatever you say. And honestly, <laughs> it doesn't really matter because I'll probably do what I want to do anyway. But I would love to know what you have to say about it because it always does make me, I'm always interested to know how people feel. So, um, anyway, all right, here's our last one we're going to make for now. I have a bunch more to make, but... I don't want to bore you with doing the exact same thing over and over because it is tedious. So um, I'm going to close this portion of the video, but if you're if you're over it, great. You can move on with your life at this point. You don't have to keep watching, but if you want to see some behind the scenes footage and some other uh, fun stuff going on in our lives, then you would want to keep watching. All right, here we go. Okay, so I did speed this part of the video up just a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't make you sick. <laughs> but these are my kits and how they come packaged, and then we stack them all together, but all the die cut pieces are stuffed in the envelope, and I do that so that it's very easy for you to find all your die cut pieces for each card. And then this is my club stuff over here that I've got prepped, and I'm cutting this on my big cutter. That's linked below the video. And I'm doing all this stuff during the day, and these are a bunch of the products that are going in the packages for my stamp camp. So um, the, in the evening, my husband and daughter came out to help me, and I want you all to watch my husband's reaction when I tell him he didn't make the box fast enough. Rare sighting, people. We've got family work night happening. Okay, let's see this flat box it's not that fast <laughs> 